Great here, welcome back to Factorio. So, I'm taking a look around the factory here and I noticed that my gear production is slowed down again because I don't have enough iron feeding into here. I need more iron smelting, which is kind of insane. I think I can cram a little bit more into here. So let's see if I can do that. Nope, not that. That one. Let's see, how much more can I cram in? I think that will do it. I think. So let's get this. Kind of ironic that I have it right next to another iron belt, but... There we go. So now we have 4, 8, 12... Oh, this is kind of a hiccup. 16, 18, 20. And we're almost to the point where we can't load up this belt. But I can't cram any more in here. Actually, let's see. I can, however, cram two more into here. So there's a little bit more right there. And let's see if I can cram a bit more on this area. There to there. One more line. There we go. So there's a little bit more. Let's see if that's actually firing up our gear production again. Looks like it could be. a few more here and get these out of my inventory. There we go. So my super secret plan for here is as follows. I am actually going to cram red belt down this line right here. And stop all of this for the time being. Clear off this line. Oh, which I can't do when it's actually running. And reverse it. Then, that, really, that pole was important. Really? How was that pole important? I, how? Oh, because I don't have an engine here. So let's take care of this real quick. To there. Cross. Oh, 
There. Because what I need to do is I need to just get rid of all of this in here. I want to extend this line down this way as far as I can. And let's get our machines up and running again. Now this line is going to go up here. And right here, I need one more piece there. And this is going to be the iron, which dumps in here. No, that's wrong. I need the iron on the outside of this line. Like so. So the iron has to be on the outside. Got to remember that. That's the inside. That's the outside. Okay, let's clear this line again. Oops, helps if I hold the correct key. There we go. Now, this needs to be, uh, let's get, for the time being, I don't need Did I just get... Oh, yeah, okay. This needs to be copper wire. I did that completely wrong. Let's try this again. That looks better. Nope, doesn't reach. Now up here we need... I think this, now these machines will run constantly. Oops, I actually don't need this to go up that far. Unfortunately, these two machines are not able to place. Hmm. So half belt isn't enough, actually. Yeah, because this top machine is, is hardly ever running. Here I thought this would be an improvement. Okay, let's... What is the ratio that I need? 
one play to one point five. I don't know. To one to three. Well, let's redo this again. There we go. Get the last of that plate off of there. Now we need to get iron in here. So let's try one-handed inserters instead. See if that helps. We need four of them. Here, 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 and there. Get this hooked up with iron. This top one seems to be going okay, and actually I don't need that to go all the way up. Now I can get Rocket Silo? Yes, I can. That's going to take forever. This is not working either. Well, what did I do on the other side of the of the factory? Try to walk through the middle. Not the smartest thing. Yeah, this is not, this isn't all that great either. Yeah, th these are barely being used. And if I ramped up production, then I would have problems over here as well. I definitely need a better layout. Yeah, because this coil is not running at all. These two are running fine. Yeah, this one's barely running. But this one's definitely just... This one never gets a chance to run. I wonder if I put... No, I can't do that there. What if I put it this way? Nope, it's still not running.
What if I don't put it on that line, but I drop it out like this and run it up here? And then this one, I run in like that. Well, I think I've just shifted the problem, it looks like. I wonder, since I've got all the power on the one side, where are my... long-handed inserters again. Let's get that here and here. Try this. This is now waiting on the iron. Is that it? Why are these not grabbing from the far side? Look at that. I don't know. And the circuits up here are still having a hard time getting all the way up. Well, that's just frustrating is what that is. Was I waiting on the outputs, do you think? Hmm. Well, here's an important question. Let's try a completely different idea here. Let's try... Here we want copper cable. Here we want green circuits. Let's have these request hundred iron each like so and have these each request a hundred copper can this keep up that's the question where's my copper I bet you we're not inside of the logistics network. Of course we're not. However, I do have another RoboPort, which I can place down somewhere. 
That looks like a good spot as any. Let's get some power to it. No, not that power, this power. Now let's get power to this here. Okay, what's not... Oh, huh, wrong direction. Can these keep up? Let's get in the middle here. Iron looks like it might be the limiting factor here. Can I fit under here? No, I can't. How's the sire doing? Now these are in the logistics network, so... Definitely have an increased throughput, though. And now this is just cranking these out. Which is cranking out the blue science. So yeah, the limiting factor up here is definitely the green circuits. Nine, thirty-six. It looks like it might be keeping up. It looks like this is outperforming this setup over here. Now just out of curiosity, let's get two more long handed inserters. Can these keep up with offloading? They can. Well. I have an idea. Stop outputting. Stop it. Stop it. So, instead of having, let's have belt down like this. Okay. Ooh, was that my first okay this video? I hope so. Let's get rid of all of this. And all of this. 
and this. Just get rid of it all. And this. No, down to here. So, where's my temporary blueprint? Here it is. Actually, let's just take, let's get rid of these belts, or not these belts, but these uh, right here. Get rid of those. There. How many am I supposed to have? 60, I think. No, I'm only supposed to have 40? Yeah, I'm only supposed to have 40. So, auto trash, you, to 40. Please put the rest back into the network. There. And let's get rid of this right here. Now let's just blueprint this part right here. And rotate it. And let's try doing this. Oh, I forgot to deconstruct all of these. Not the pipe. So this will be our, and let's put a little jiggity jog right here. This is our output, is what I'm trying to say. Now this needs to go to the inside. There. Which does not work. So let's, let's not pre-optimize. Let's just get this going. Now what I need is... my split, my iron split here. There. The iron can go all the way down to here. Like so. Then here is where we put the copper split right back in, all the way down to here. I definitely want to put A curly Q here, like that. Now this obviously has more power uh, power cables than it needs, so let's undo all of the power in here. and redo it here there and there and we'll put lights in the middle like that Do I have a blank blueprint in here? I do not. Give me a blueprint. I like this. I like this layout.
There. So now let's take a look at our green circuits up here. Oh, they're just humming along now. Look at that. This might actually back up completely. This is keeping our blue science humming. The only problem is, is that we are out of... Really? You're not going to... Oh, it's got to be in the logistics network. That's why. Rats. So we need more purple science. But this is definitely doing a lot better. Look at that. And I don't even need to use the logistics robots for it. Okay. Well, I am definitely going to have to put a cut in here. I hope you enjoyed today's video, even though it was just focusing on one little area, getting those green circuits up and running. But it was so worth it. Uh, I guess next time I'm going to have to go bug hunting, which is... Eh, maybe I'll make a tank. Who knows? Have fun.